I don't want to go on. I know you don't want to, but you are going to go on. Your mind says you are going to go on. You're going to get there. It is not the end of the world. When you want to improve and grow and build resilience, you've got to go. That pain comes with it. That pain is the foundation, the mortar to becoming a better person and, and achieving better things. Welcome back to Inspire Change with Jordan Mulligan. And today's episode is with the amazing Billy Billingham. You might know him from SAS Who Dares Wins. Today's episode was powered and sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food with everything that your body needs. Go to the link in the description where you can find exclusive offers. Thank you to Huel for supporting the podcast. Let's dive into the episode. We spoke about this before. I think it, I don't know if people will listen to this correctly, and I hope they do. Always a little verbal. Yeah. Always a little, it's my mantra every single day, mate. You know, whether that's you're going for a run and you don't feel like you, you want to run, just go for it, just do it. And you can, you can do it. And that always a little further, it helps me if I'm going to use the running sort of scenario. I, I'll say, to, I'll get up in the morning, I don't have a plan of where, how far I'm going to run and where I'm going to run, as you, as you probably know. But I'll, I'll go out there and I feel I can't justify having done anything until I feel a little bit tired, a little bit worn out. So I'll say, right, okay, I'm going to run three miles. I, I'm, I can see the three mile turn around and I go, all right, I'm going to go four miles. I'll go another mile. Then before I know it, I've ran out six miles and I've got another six miles to run back. So that's that little further, it's always there subconsciously pushing me anyway. But um, in every day, Life, it's, it's just about giving giving hundred percent. Just just always do your fucking best and, and and try and go that little bit further. Like you know, I love the the idea of for me. It's I've had it in a mantra, a mantra in my head sometimes, yeah. and sometimes the always a little further to me. If I'm just really, never giving up, it's a step. Yeah, as yeah. long as there's one more step. Yeah, and then another, and then another. One more inch. One more. One more inch. Yeah. One more foot. Two more steps. It, it's it's still a little bit further. But if but that that's if someone had a gun to your head, could you do another step? If you can, you can keep just keep going yeah. like that in in that in that way for sure. When I mean this this is just more of a reality. When it's tough and it will be tough, don't give up. Yeah, that again related again to the always a little further. Just don't give up. Just keep going. I'll tell you what, because your mind will take you to places where your body don't want to go. You, you can get to a finish line with a broken leg in pain. You'll get there as long as your mind says, I'm going to get there. I think that's something the military taught you because you... I don't know if the military taught it. It definitely sort of enhanced it. Yeah, what, because my, my thought is you can't... You, the situations you can't give up physically, you're not allowed to give up because it... Be, yeah, because yeah. there's... It, yeah, because yeah. the, the, the giving up is... It's over, done. And that's not an option. That is never an option do you, think, do you think without facing a situation like that you know a, a situation that the, the reality is death could you still tap into that you know never giving up no matter yeah what you can you can you don't have to it doesn't have to be all about life and death it's just about you know when you say you're going to do something do it do it and when your mind says you know you've said this one i'm going to do 10 mile then you, when you've got an option to give up, it's a weak option when you give up. I can take that giving up option out, out of the equation. And the option is, I have to finish this. I have to get to that point. Now, whether your fucking feet are blistered, your back is hurting, as you're going to find out, your shoulder feels like one's snapped and the, the other one's all right, so what? So what? When you get to that finish point, that's when you can address that problem. Let that pain actually drive you on. Think about that pain and don't think about the distance. And then before you know it, the end of the distance. So the mind will take you, it'll take a broken body to a point where, you know, you probably didn't want to go, but you can get there. I'll, I'll get my sister to clip this. I'll have it, I'll have it on repeat. <laughs> That'll be it. I, I I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to hurt. You know, yeah. We're like, oh, it's uncomfortable. I don't want to go on. I know you don't want to, but you are going to go on. Your mind says you are going to go on. You're going to get there. It is not the end of the world. I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. Today's video was sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food with everything that your body needs. I also have just started recently using Huel's daily greens. Please go check the link 
in the description for the best greens on the market, in my opinion. They taste amazing and they have everything that your body needs. Find exclusive offers down below with the link. Thank you to Huel for sponsoring the podcast. Quitting is not an option. No. Remove it from the table. Quitting is death. Yeah. That's it. That's quitting. Death. Done. That wasn't your choice. That's God's way of telling you you failed. Yeah. That ain't happening. Not today, certain. It is. It's true. It fucking hurts. You know, I ain't going to say my message. <laughs> I'm not running anymore. That's it. You had that choice. You can. You can do it. You just don't want to do it. And that's, that's, that's it. You can. You can fucking do that. But when you want to improve and grow and build resilience, you've got to go. That pain comes with it. That pain is the foundation, the mortar to becoming a better person and, and achieving better things. I love that. That's a great quote. It's true. Quote. It's absolutely true, mate. If it's easy, it ain't worth it. It's not a challenge, is it? It's not, it's not worth it. The growth is in the pain. The growth is in the, in the suffering of yeah. the task. And then, you know what? You get to the end, you achieve what you wanted to and more, and you, got, and you feel great about it. Yes, you're still blistered. Now you can't walk because you're blistered. So what? It's only a passage of time. They'll, they'll heal up in no time. What's that, what's that moment like? Because, um, you know, finishing a, a, a tough run, a mission, that you, you, and you are, you sat there, you're blistered, you, your body's still humming from, you know, yeah. the, all the water. Mate, when I finished, the last thing you do on the hills phase of selection is um, basically, uh, what's it, uh, you know, long haul, is it called? Endurance. The en it's called endurance. It's about 60K, 60 miles, wherever it is, and you're carrying a fucking house on your back. And before I even started it, my knee was out here. I thought, I ain't gonna be able to do this. And I could quite easily have gone, I ain't gonna do it because the damage I might do at the end of it, might do, could fuck me up forever. But I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to do it and I thought, fuck it. I'm gonna take that risk. I'm gonna take that pain. I'm not gonna make that an excuse not to do this. And then when I did, by the time I finished it, my knee was almost the size of my waist. I literally, and I, and I did it in fast, I did it in a fast time because it was hurting so much. And I knew the quicker I do it, the quicker this pain is going to stop. So the pain hurt me more and I went faster. And I remember, I mean, it, there was two of us did it in a real ridiculously fast time. But I did it because of the pain I was in and I wanted to do it. I was going to drag that, I was going to tie that leg up behind my ass and drag myself across it. I wasn't going to give up. I don't care. Because I knew I'll find the time. I'd rather got to the end and done it and then be told, unfortunately, you can't go on to the next phase because you're fucking so badly hurt. I'll deal with that next. I want to get to that fucking end point. My mind says I want it and I wanted it. I want it in my heart to say to myself, I'm going to finish this. I could have quite easily, and no one had ever, ever questioned me because you could physically see my knee was fucked. But I just did it. I just fucking went and went and went and it was fucking hurting. And I spent more time moaning about my knee I knew as I'm moaning, that's another kilometre under the bag, that's another kilometre, another moan. And then, f me, I'm on at the end of it, it's only f 14 hours. <laughs> and then I laughed for the rest of the weekend, f it out. <laughs> In absolute f***ing agony. Honestly, I could stand up, you fall over. But I thought, how come I didn't fall over over those mountains? Because I didn't want to fall over. I could quite easily have done. Mm. I literally, at the end of it, you know, the next morning, trying to get my shorts over the top of it. And I'm like, and I went to stand up and I'm falling over. I can't. Yeah stand up and I thought thank fuck because then my mind had already said I don't I'm nothing to achieve today you've done it you know but my mind said I want to get to the end I spent all night on the fucking roof watching it really waiting and I'm thinking me I'm in a situation I don't want to be in here and this guy he's only a small guy by the way but he's got two big henchmen with him and they're big dudes I'm absolutely shit myself to be honest so I'm there on the roof all night I've got fucking bricks I've got fucking Machete, I've got all sorts of shit. I thought he's coming, he's getting it. I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs>